ladies and gents, what are we doing today? Well, today we're playing with fire. So we've got a new DFX program we just bought online. We're going to throw it on the Shop Saber CNC, see if we can get this stuff figured out. Get everything lined out the way we need to and uh, cut this project out. And uh, pretty sharp project, too. I'm not going to lie a bit. Um, it's been, uh, been pretty busy around here, but I've been wanting to do this one for a while. So let's see how it turns out. You, you never know. I mean, could be a fail, could be a giant win. Let's get after it, see what happens. We'll get you guys set up on the Shop Saber CNC, run you through the process. All right, I think the camera shut off on me, but uh, we got the uh, top grate cut out. We got the bottom grate cut out, as you guys can see. Dandy, dandy, dandy. And we have started working on the vehicle. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I think you might already know. So, let's set the camera up, see what happens.
All right, ladies and gents, here we go. I know this was a long video with a lot of cutting in it, I'm sure. We'll see how much of that I got edited out, uh, fast forwarded, uh, you know the good stuff. But Wrangler, Jeep, and a whole lot of cutting. Would you look at how many daggone piercings are in this Joker? I mean, this is off the charts for SOT Metalworks. This is the most extravagant object, sign, uh, fire pit. Yeah, fire pit that we've ever cut out. It is beyond us to go this extreme uh, with all this, these uh, pierces and parts and pieces. And I mean, it's just, holy cow. That is a lot, but hopefully it turns out a fantastic product. And we used, uh, let's see, we were just under a, a half a sheet of 10 gauge steel. This is not your light duty stuff. This is your heavier duty, thicker stuff. This is gonna make one heck of a fire pit. It's not gonna be like one of those ones you buy Lowe's and Home Depot that's gonna fall apart in a year or so, maybe less, probably less. This one is gonna be around for a while. So let's get over here, get this joker assembled and see just how this turns out. I'm excited. I hope everything fits together right. I bought the DFX file specifically for this, put it on our computer. Didn't have to draw this up or anything. This is a bought program. So hopefully one of these days I'll get my money back out of it, but no guarantees there. All right, let's do some assembling, see what happens. All right, let's lay all these pieces down here. I think we're going to have an issue to a little test fit. Uh, my tabs on this one single piece are off. Just a little bit. But that's okay. We can fix that. We can fix that. We'll just uh, elongate these slots a little bit and we'll make this first one fit. We'll change that on the, uh, we'll change the slots on the program, but right now, we're gonna go without a bottle. So, you guys bear with me. Let's see if she get lined good. Wow. What the heck? You're not supposed to slide in the hole yet. There are so many holes in this joker, I can't remember where they go. It's crazy. There we go, ladies and gents. Not too shabby for our first one. Uh, not too shabby at all. I like that side profile of it. Looks pretty good. So yeah, got to get the bottom squared away. But other than that, not, uh, not too shabby. Your first one's always going to be a little... You're going to have to go back and change some cut paths or change some uh, lead-ins, lead-outs, stuff like that. We got the tabs off, not too big a deal on this first one here. So yeah, the first one you gotta you gotta deal with there just a little bit. Uh, change some things, make some things work, figure some things out. This is our very first one we've ever bought a DXF file for. Brought that over into our computer and run the program. So I would say it's a win. Uh, I think that program to put all that stuff and everything, I think I bought it online. It was like 15 bucks, 16 bucks, something like that. Not a, not a bad deal at all. 
didn't have to do all that drawing. Everything was already preset, good to go. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is it didn't tell me what to scale my plate for, uh, what size I was looking for. So I had to kind of guess by that, which could be the reason I got my uh, my bottom on the fire pit off for a little bit. But we'll square it away. If I don't get it in this video, we'll get it in another video, and we'll uh, we'll do a little update on it. But probably take some high temp, get her all painted up, make her look pretty, get some good pictures. You never know. I'm not be sitting out there with my feet kicked up next to it with a fire built in it. So. <laughs> everybody here you go finished product got the jeep there got the front end got the side profile with the top of the grill there and we've got the back spare tire whole nine yards looking pretty good not too shabby but yeah that's what we got hopefully you guys like them got the ash pan in the bottom there and everything Mrs. OT what do you think so, I told you I wanted you to buy me a Jeep. This is not exactly what I had in mind. Why not? I mean, anybody can build their own Jeep on their CNC plasma table. But I can't go riding with our friends with that kind of Jeep. Well, yeah, but you can have the coolest fire pit at the, at the uh, Jeep ride. I can bribe rides with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Bribing rides. <laughs> Miss SOT come home with a lot of big deer burgers or something laying up on it. But, all right, guys, we're going to cut out of here. It's, uh, it's been a fun one. It's been an interesting one. I'm sure there was a lot of cutting involved in this video. Hopefully you guys buried with me to see the finished product on that one. And uh, yeah, if I did get it painted by now, there'll be some pictures uh, down below or uh, flashing up on the screen somewhere, somehow. Hey, do us a big favor. Big, big favor. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you haven't already. If you have already, we greatly appreciate that. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know how we did on this one. And uh, as I get better with these, we'll do a more in-depth of what we need to look for, what we, uh, what we missed, what we should do better in the future, whatever it may be. So, all right, guys, we're going to cut on out of here. Hopefully, y'all are being safe out there. Like I always say, guys, remember, work smarter, not harder. We'll catch y'all later. Have a good one. Yeah.